Hi everyone, I'm Jamie and today I just want to go through the developer update for August 2022. It's not a very big update so this won't take very long, I just want to do like a quick run through of it. Basically they start off by saying, you know, they made a big patch and some stuff needs a little bit of tweaking. The first thing they've decided to tweak is Thanatophobia. Now I know a lot of people were complaining about how this perk was oppressive, how it was slowing games to a crawl. I think that's a bit of an overreaction, but, you know, it's fine. They've addressed it. They've addressed it. It was, you know, it was a bit oppressive. It wasn't too bad, though. Most of it, I feel, was just that the gen speeds were increased, and that's what they were feeling, but they've decided to address it anyway. So they've said they're going to rework it, and every injured, dying, or hooked survivor will provide a 2% action speed penalty if all four survivors... I really hope it's all four survivors. I'll explain in a second... Uh, are either injured, dying, or hooked, then Atophobia grants an additional 12% penalty to survivors' action speeds. So basically what this means is if three people are injured, then they'll have a 6% action speed penalty, and if four survivors are injured, they'll have a 20% action speed penalty, is what I'm guessing it means, because 2% for each survivor, and then 12% for everybody being injured. So basically, this will be almost useless on every character that never used it and it will still be virtually the same effectiveness on say legion and plague although it does take a lot less effort to negate its effects pretty much entirely say one person heals that's all you need one person to heal and thanatophobia loses 14 percent of its effectiveness and which is why i'm hoping that this is um is specific if four survivors are either injured, hooked, or dying, then you get the 20% penalty. And I ho I'm hoping this doesn't just mean all survivors, because that mean that will co sort of, you know, de-incentivize tunneling a little bit if you're using Thana, because if you tunnel somebody out, then you can only get the 6%, you can't get the 20%, is what I'm, I'm hoping that four is specific. So yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about the Thana change. Like, I like it. I like how you can just, you know, heal one person and then Thana loses most of its effectiveness. That makes Desperate Measures an even more effective counter to, to, to Thanatophobia than it already was. And yeah, and honestly, it feels like a bit of a weird change because they've left it strong on Legion and Plague but nerfed it for everybody else because what other killer can get four people injured easily? I, I don't know. Yes, maybe twins, but <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, it seems like a bit of a weird change. Ultimately, I think Thanata Thanatophobia needed like a ground up rework because it's just not really, it doesn't really have a place in the current meta now that, you know, gens are slowed down anyway by default. So yeah, I'm not really sure about Thana. I Ultimately, I think it could be good, you know, like I said, the, the the benefit of only healing one person to negate no, most of its effectiveness is pretty good. Now, Metal of Man. I did not see this coming. I did not see this coming at all. I did not think that they'd think, oh, yeah, we should change Metal. Sh sure, all right. I mean, I <laughs> didn't see this coming. That Nobody was talking about Metal of Man, I don't think, but sure. Uh, pardon me. Basically... Metal of Man will only, will only take two protection hits rather than the three it takes now. And other than, you know, current Metal, it will grant the Endurance status effect, meaning that it can be taken away by conspicuous actions. So how this is working, I would guess, is that you take the second protection hit, you get the Endurance status effect. If you then heal yourself, you lose the Endurance status effect. If you do a gen, you lose the Endurance status effect. If you unhook, you get it so basically once you take that second protection hit you can't do anything for yourself somebody else can heal you but you can't heal yourself and you can't do a gem and you're essentially useless <laughs> is what i'm sensing from this like it doesn't seem like it's got the same effect as um you know 
Wait, does that work on that? No, no, sorry, ignore that. I was gonna, I was, I, I was thinking that you could like heal yourself with um, off the record and then still have the endurance status effect. That's not how it works. Ignore me. But basically, this makes this perk worse than useless. Like it was already pretty useless. Now it's worse than useless because now you can't do anything. Before you could take the three protection hits. You basically throw the game to do it, but you could take the three protection hits and then you would have your endurance to use whenever you like. This time, no. If you if you just hold the endurance, you're essentially doing nothing. You're a hindrance to your team. And also, once you have the endurance status effect, the killer can see you. So, like when you're 16 meters away from the killer, they can see you. So... They know when you're coming for the protection hit, they can prepare for it. It's useless against killers like Onryo, who can just phase right through you. And yeah, it just doesn't seem like a good change at all. I don't know what they were thinking with this. I mean, yeah, it seems like they were working on this change from the PTB when people were stacking endurance and just didn't think, you know, we don't need this anymore. Like, if you're going to change Metal of Man, you know, I don't know, just make it that you take two protection hits and leave it at that. We didn't need all this other stuff. Like, <laughs> I don't know, weird, weird choice. Not sure about that one. So yeah, they also changed Pain Res, Merciless Storm, and Dead Man Switch. And honestly, of all the changes, this is the most confusing. This is the most confusing. Because basically, there was this... I, I only ever saw it once. There was this one clip where somebody was on a gem and Merciless Storm activated and the skill check started. Somebody got hooked in the distance, the gem blew up, it lost, well, it sparked or whatever, it lost a load of progress, but Merciless Storm kept going. I only saw this once. And this appears to be what they're basing all of this change on. That one clip from that really specific niche situation. And they've decided that this is this is worth changing three perks for so basically they have reversed pain resonance generator interruption so it will blow up and you will be kicked off it when um, pain res hits um, so basically this reignites the old problem of pain resonance dead man switch having great synergy which is annoying as fuck <laughs> So, it takes away the Pain Resonance Merciless Storm, really, really niche synergy, and and it, in place of that, it, it, it reintroduces one of the most annoying combinations. And pe uh, they, they, they say it's like, oh yeah, the, the, the killer won't get a, a notification, but, you know, the, if Pain Resonance kicks you off the gen, then Dead Man Switch activates, and then they know where it is. They, they, it doesn't matter if they don't get a notification because Dead Man Switch will tell them. I mean, it, it just reintroduces that really annoying moment where somebody goes down and you just have to get off the gen that you're doing for a bit. <laughs> and just like wait for the hook and then you can start it again. I don't know. It is weird. And to compensate for this, they have nerfed Dead Man Switch to 30 seconds down from 45 or I think it was 45 but I don't understand like this was a really really niche situation that they've decided to address here this was so niche I only ever saw one clip of this just the one and it's it's not something you can really artificially do because yeah you could use the tinkerer uh, Merciless Storm combination to tell you when Merciless Storm was going to activate so you could hook somebody at the right time but that's setting up a lot for just more skill checks on someone which you know they could just hit and then it does nothing so I don't really I'm not really sure why they chose this to address uh, they've, they've changed three perks essentially when they only really needed to change one if they wanted to address this problem they could have addressed this problem by just setting a limit on the number of uh, number of merciless storm skill checks the number of skill checks that merciless storm can trigger if they set a limit on that then their problem is solved and they don't need to do anything and they didn't need to do anything in the first place uh, this really confuses me i don't know why they did this baffling kenneth's back 
<laughs> yeah, Kenneth will be back. Kenneth will be back. We love a bit of Kenneth. Uh, orange glyphs have been disabled until they fix the god-awful swirly nonsense that gave me a headache and made me want to throw up. That was so stupid. I don't, it's, this this whole this whole thing. No, just no. I I don't just have it make you one percent slower or something. I don't know. Give you give you a little bit of a debuff. I don't I don't know why you need to make me feel sick to have a glyph. Just yeah, just get rid of that. Uh, matchmaking incentives aren't coming back until 6.2.0, and then they might they might work again. Honestly, I don't really know. They, they said that the problem was that they, they, they were not working as intended. They were given 100% bonus blood points to Survivor at all times. Oh no. This is so sad. But nobody's playing Survivor. <laughs> this was the only time when people were playing Survivor and the killer Q times were actually good. The Survivor Q times were pretty good as well. Like, they seem to be working perfectly. Survivors were getting more blood points, which they desperately need because they get so fewer blood points by default. Um... The queue times were good on both sides. There was nothing wrong with this. It might not have been working the way they wanted it to, but it was working the way that was healthier for the game. So, I don't know. I'm not really sure about this. The one thing, like, there is, there's one big part missing from this developer update. Like, they've chosen to address Metal of Man and the Pain Resonance Merciless Storm synergy that just didn't really exist and the Metal of Man that didn't need whatever the hell this is. And they didn't put DS back up to 5%, 5%, back up to 5 seconds. DS is worse than useless and tunneling is a big problem right now. So, why, why have they done, they've addressed synergy that doesn't exist and somehow nerfed Metal of Man when they could have reverted the change on DS. I'm not really sure why they did that, or like, I don't know, Tweak the base kit borrowed time up to 10 seconds because five seconds isn't enough time to even get out of basement. Like, if you get saved off the hook with base kit borrowed time, you can't, it's not enough to get out of basement. Like, if you think about it, you get off the hook, base kit borrowed time triggers, you go round, up the stairs, round, the killer can hit you before you get to the window or the pallet. Like, it, it needs it needs something. It needs something. We needed DS to be re to re be reverted to five seconds, or you know, uh, base kit borrowed time to be increased. Not whatever the hell this is. I don't know why this was the priority. I get the Thana change. I get the Thana change. It's a bit weird because it, yeah, it doesn't address Plague or Legion, but you know, it's it, it, it's still good to be able to knock off fourteen percent with one heal. So that's good. But I don't, yeah. I'm not really sure about this one. I'm not sure about this one. So yeah, it's it's a bit of a weird one. I'm not... Yeah, priorities are a bit off, I think. But I'm glad that they are at least listening to feedback with Thana. I don't... I feel like with that Merce of the Storm, they just saw that one clip and were like, yo, my god, we got to stop that happening from the one time it happened. But yeah, yeah. So we'll see. They might, you know, see that we're all saying to reverse DS and you know the, the, the end game thing is fine it's, yeah keep DS not working in end game that is fantastic that makes uh, um, end game situation so much better when you can't just get a free escape with off the record or DS that is so much better it makes everything so much better at end game but five seconds please but anyway I'm rambling I'm gonna end the video I hope you enjoyed it I hope you had a good time uh, yeah weird update weird update i just had to i just had to get the thoughts because weird but yeah i hope you enjoyed the video hope you'll join my streams at 4 p.m bst every single weekday we're playing dead by daylight switching between killer and survivor and yeah hope you have a wonderful rest of your day i'm gonna go take care see you later